Good morning, Bloom Trojans. This is the Friday Show. Coming up on today's edition of Bloom Scene, the Ballet de la Primavera. I'm your host, Nyla Gatlin. On activities, we have Anae Torres, and on sports, we have Matt Howard. It is Friday, March 3rd, 2023, and you are watching Bloom Scene. Now for our top story. It is time once again for 45 seconds in the counseling office. This is 45 seconds in the counseling office with Mr. Doherty. March 10th is the official end of this quarter. So third quarter ends March 10th. Make sure you're turning in everything that you can to your teachers. Ask your teachers about the relearn, reassess plan to improve your grades and make sure and talk to your teacher about this. It is the relearn, reassess plan on how you can get things done and turn in your work. Um, and for those that are preparing for the SAT test, you can use Khan Academy at home and it's Khan Academy, K-H-A-N, and then Academy, of course, and then you can get help if it's on the weekend through Khan Academy and try to get Thank you, Mr. Doherty. Prom 2023 Enchanted Evening will be here before you know it. Here are some important dates you need to remember. On Tuesday, March 7th, Prom Assembly tickets go on sale for $2. The following week, on Tuesday, March 14th, the Prom Assembly will be held during 9th hour. Then, Prom tickets go on sale the next day, Wednesday, March 15th. Please make note of all the dates in April that you see on the screen. Finally, in announcements, don't forget the school-wide PBIS team has a challenge for us. We will earn a school-wide celebration if we can reduce aggressive behavior from where it was a year ago. And if we can have an average daily attendance of 80% or more between now and March 7th. We will update and share graphs with you each week to check on our progress. That's it for announcements. Let's go to a name with your activities. Thanks, Nyla. The Latino Club is hosting the Ballet de la Primavera on Friday, March 10th in the cafeteria from 6.30 to 10.30 p.m. The dance is for Bloom students only and will feature a Latin entertainment DJ and the band Grupo Esencia, which is made up of Bloom students. Tickets are $20, cash only, and on sale in the bookstores. No tickets will be sold at the door. Recently, we had the opportunity to hear from Grupo Esencia about the dance. Good morning, Bloom Trojans. I'm Mariana, and I'm here with Grupo Esencia, who will be playing at this year's Ballet de la Primavera. Yeah, My name is Jayla and I'm here with Boom Scene. I'm Edric with Grupo Esencia. How do you feel about performing in front of the whole school? I'm actually really excited because, you know, we've been working a lot. You know, our individual talents as a, a band, we really wanted to show us show out for y'all boys. My next question is, what inspired you to start this group? I mean, to be honest, it was, it's just a dream, you know? I want We want to make it out. We want to make it on top. So, yeah. I am Cristo Rios. Uh, I am a bassist. Uh, I play for Group Essence, Grupo Esencia. Uh, you can look us up on TikTok or Instagram or even Facebook. Very old. Um, what makes you guys fit to play for this dance? Uh, I think we're a good fit for this dance because um, uh, we know what the people want and um, we're going to give what the people want. Okay, so I'm Mariana and I'm with Bloom Scene. My name is Levy Perez. Okay, so the first question I have for you is how long have you been playing your instrument and what made you play? Well, it all started during COVID, you know. I just picked up a guitar, I just started playing. And have you been playing in front of any large crowds yet? Uh, actually, yes. And how did you feel about it? Um, now I'm just used to it, but at first I used to be nervous and stuff. Bloom scene? My name is Aaron Sebastian. Okay, my first question that I have for you is what's your biggest goal you want to achieve with this group? Uh, I definitely like want to be on the top, like play at private events and stuff. Okay, and what do your parents think about it? Do they support you? Yeah, they support me a lot. They bought my like first instrument and like they've been with me like the whole time. I'm Rebecca Martinez. 
And my first question to you is, do you think the Latino Club gets enough recognition? Why or why not? I think we do and we don't because we do have a lot of events, but it'll be so much better if more people were involved with us. We're very open arms and we'd like a lot of people to be in our dance. And also, since we did the Lat Hispanic Assembly, it went amazing and I would like this dance to go amazing as well. Okay, and what do you think you guys could do to make more students involved in the Latino Club? I would like more people to come to our meetings. We meet once a month on Mondays, and even coming to the dance and come support us and learn about our culture will be amazing as well. Um, where can tickets be sold for this baila upcoming? Tickets are sold in the counselor's office starting today for $20 cash only. You cannot buy any tickets the day of or at the door. And is there any details you could give about this dance? We will have a DJ as well, the Latino Entertainment, and we will have Essencias there. That's what all I could say for now. Okay, thank you for your time. The Fine Arts Department is happy to announce the return of Fine Arts Week from March 13th through March 17th. There are events taking place at different times of the day. Teachers, be sure to sign your classes up to attend. That is it for activities. Now let's go to Matt with sports. Thanks, Anae. Our regional champion boys varsity basketball team played in the first round of the sectionals this past Tuesday against Kenwood Academy. We suffered the narrow loss in that game, 49-51. to We want to congratulate the players and coaches on a strong season. We look forward to seeing what is in the store next season. That is all we have for sports news today, but there is more in store for you as girls soccer, softball, and baseball all begin soon. That's it for sports. Let's take it back to Nyla. That's Bloom scene. Before we go, remember that there will be no school next Monday, March 6th, in celebration of Pulaski Day. Teachers and staff, please remember to email your announcements to Mr. Cook. We will see you here again.